What? You're watching Do Rank, this brand is Marlon. This brand is Liv. And today we have a so it's a single from Buster Rhymes and it's featuring Kendrick Lamar. Yes. We haven't heard from Kendrick in a very long time. Over a year. Well, apart from ad libs. So this is like it was probably made a long time this is ago, right? Old. Oh, this. How old are we talking? Well, this verse, I believe, is from like 2012. Whoa, so this verse really? was probably done before even Good Kid, Mad City came out. Right. Okay. Because this Buster Rhymes album is, it's, it's a sequel to an album that came out in the 90s. Right. So it's old. That's crazy. So this is going to be old Kendrick. It's going to be old. It's the, it's like, the same this situation. Isn't be the Kendrick as, we know now. It's the same situation as Mona Lisa because that dropped in 2018, but it was right. a verse from like. Four years before that. Right, okay. And this is, an, I think, an eight-year-old verse. So it's four minutes, eight seconds long. Um, he dropped the album as well today, didn't he? Today, but he, yeah. Then he dropped... He this. dropped the single yesterday. Yesterday, the single right, yesterday, okay. Yeah. And the album's... Mass, there's loads and loads of features on that album. Right. Okay, so this is Look look Over Your Shoulder. Just look over your shoulders, honey! Yeah, I know. It's been a minute. It's been yeah. a minute. That's Michael Jackson. That sound cool. Oh, what, like young Michael Jackson? Yeah. Mm, I really like this bass. Who, who produces that? I, I mean, that's I'll Be There or whatever. That song I, don't, I don't know, because I, I, I don't know. Okay, so it doesn't say the producer on here. I can, I can have yeah, a look on here. Not Hal Davis and The Corporation. Oh, I don't know that. I, know. I wrote my first bars in the car with Stacey. How bizarre my battle scars and large with Lacey. I lead this new generation, boy, don't argue with us. Marvelous, be selected. He knew it from time, uh, He knew it from time. He said, I lead this new generation. He said this before his first album even fucking dropped. <laughs> right. He knew it. It's prophetic. And it's all for the literature. And it's all for the hideous, the nastiest flow, the chlamydia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all for the hideous, the nastiest flows, chlamydia. That's disgusting. It does sound like an older, like you can tell it's older, can't you? Can, yeah. can't you? I ain't afraid to say I need you. My life is like to have hope in mics of hopeless notes. I write for show my folks you like soon as the flow get nice to vote to catch this. RIP, you know my type of style is like my everything compared what? to my appetite. The flow, the, the <laughs> rhyme ski. So I need to hear what he said about poltergeist. Okay. I have to know what the fuck he said. He said, My life is like 12 open mics of hopeless notes I write. For sure my folks untie as soon as I as the flow get nice. The poltergeist that scares them sees my prototype. For every my share of deeds and RIPs. Yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's not stopping. He's doing some rigor mortis <laughs> shit. Yeah. Just look over your shoulders when they fuck you off. There's love, I know you. Just look over your shoulder when they fuck you over. It's love. Is that what he says? Yeah. Love. How mm. could someone fucking you over be love? Because the ones that fuck you over are family. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what he means. It's like what he says and cut you off. If your blood wasn't running from, through my veins, I'd probably cut you off too. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Look up with your shoulder, get me. Cause I don't body the game to the point niggas get a rap with me. Are you gonna make my gun cock and on the love? Do you know what I feel? I feel like when 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 Buster Rhymes worked with Kendrick, because this isn't the normal sound that I've heard of Buster. Right. I feel like he was working with Kendrick and like working with Kendrick influenced his mm. verse. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Because it sounds like yeah, some yeah. of the mannerisms. Mm. That he said, but obviously Kendrick's also influenced by Buster Rhymes right, in some yeah. aspects. Did he write? Did he record his part Before, that long ago? Or I, was I don't. It recently? I, I don't know when. I don't know because obviously because this is his album, he might have mm. you know tweaked it, re-recorded, right. wrote, rewrote some shit. I mean, but what's the story with it? All the songs being so old. I mean, I don't know. Why didn't he release them? I'm up not to sure. At this point, was there a problem with his label or something? Maybe I don't know. That's what usually happens, but I'm not right. sure. Mm. When I arrive, my theme music got a pound to it. Pound to it. When I leave, even my shadow got a sound to it. <laughs> you the God of the heart of the 
He said, even when I leave, my shadow got a sound to it. I love when beats do that. I love when beats like yeah, they cut yeah. in and out of the rapper's flow. I love that shit. But it made it sound like he's like the whole thing made it sound like it was like bleep, 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 yeah. Bleep, bleep. It's very cool. Do you know what? I'm glad that he released this as the single, like just before the album, because right. I, without a doubt, now I'm gonna go and listen to that whole album. Are you? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I really like this beat. Yeah. But it's definitely, it's a song in two halves. Like the first half was Kendrick, the second half was Buster. Yeah, yeah. That's how it was. That's right. He got catalog. You understand? <laughs> That's Chris Rock. This is the motherfucking you and I part of. He can go all day. Go all day. <laughs> the one with the bezel. That's the exact motherfucker I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Same energy. <laughs> Okay. That was fire. I'm going to listen to yeah, that I album. I mean, it was going to be fire, like, Yeah, of course regardless. it was. Buster the Rhymes and Kendrick. Like, what the yeah. fuck? Okay. That beat was ridiculous. It was, wasn't it? And it's, you know, it's hard to, because Michael Jackson has such a recognisable voice, it's hard mm. to get a sample where you're not just listening to that. Right, You're not, you're not yeah, just listening to, oh, it's you. Michael Jackson. Right. Like, but you, it was like still... a well-known song as well. It yeah. It was yeah. sample. Yeah, I mean, it was quite a... It was actually a very simple beat, really. Yeah. Was, but because their flows were like the central element. Yeah, weren't exactly. They? Yeah. They both went crazy with those. Flows. That that was sick. <laughs> that was sick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I want to. I, I, uh, nah. <laughs> I just want to see. I, I just want to see who else was on this album. Okay, have a look. Uh, whoa! What? 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 Can you say it, please? So on this album, we got Mary J. Blige, Kendrick, Mariah Carey, Rhapsody, Vibes Cartel, Anderson Pack, Rick Ross, Q Tip. Old Dirty Bastard, who, I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> Louis yeah. Farrakhan, BBV, Chris Rock, Rakim, and Pete Rock. Okay. That's a lot. It is, but yeah. obviously he's been, like, collecting it yeah. over time, hasn't yeah. he? So. Okay, cool. That's what we thought of the song. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and all the bell. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.